creating the two JSON and from JSON methods manually for all model classes in Flutter takes a lot of time. Therefore, we learn how to automatically generate in Flutter the to JSON and from JSON methods with the package JSON serializable. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, go to this JSON serializable package and now we want to install it. Therefore, go here down to the setup section and click here on example. Here inside you scroll then all the way down until you come to this part and you can basically copy here the dependencies. After this go to the pubspec jumble file of your Flutter project and here under your dependencies you paste then this JSON annotation inside and under your dev dependencies we include here then the build runner and JSON serializable. And lastly we need to follow three simple steps to automatically generate the to JSON and from JSON methods within our model class. Let's simply go along with the documentation, therefore click here on lib example dart and then scroll a bit down. And here the first part is to annotate each of our classes with the JSON serializable. And we also need to import here this JSON annotation at the top so that here we have no error anymore. And lastly we need to include then this part at the top of our model class. So here I create then this part. And you need to make sure that this name has here the same name as your file name. And exactly a file with this name will be later generated and this G stands here for generated. And within this generated file the to and from JSON methods are later then automatically generated for us. Let's go over to the second step where we need to create then here this new from JSON and to JSON method. So basically copy here this inside of this file. And then we use here instead of the from JSON and to JSON methods that we have created manually before, simply here this new syntax. Also make sure that the three names here within the statement have the same name as your class name. So in case your class is called here user, then we also have here every time user inside. And lastly for step 3 we want to generate our to JSON and from JSON methods within this file here. But before we generate this file make sure that you have here no errors within this file. So here this error is fine and also these two errors that you have here within these statements are also fine. And now we can go over to the last step to call here this command within your terminal to actually generate then this file. Simply go to the command line or terminal and make sure that you are here within the flutter project inside. And then we can run here this build runner build command that you have here inside of this documentation. After some time it should say then here succeeded with some outputs and these outputs are then our generated file. So here we have then this person g dart generated. And also your model class file should not have here any errors anymore. Let's now try it out within our main page. So here I create then an init state method. And here I create then this person object that we have before created. And here I call then the to JSON method and the from JSON method and print it here every time to the console. And now after a hot restart you see here the JSON that was generated out of our person object. And secondly we have also created out of our JSON again a person object with this line. Let's also have a look at if we later change this model object. So if you create here any changes within this model object then you need to call every time this command again within your terminal. So you write again flutter packages build runner build and execute it and with this the new model object will be then here updated. In my case I want to show you also how you can add here a nested object. So the address is another object that you also have. And here you need to do then the same thing to make it work. So you need to include here this JSON serializable, this part object and this import. And you also need to include here then the from JSON and to JSON and make sure that the name is here every time address because now we have here this model class address. And lastly you need to go back to the person class and here within this JSON serializable you need to include then this explicit to JSON to true. And this is always needed if you have within your model class another nested model class. And this explicit to JSON makes then sure that on the address the to JSON and from JSON methods are executed. After this go back to your terminal and run this command again. And now it should say here again succeeded with some outputs. And the output is then our generated address file. 
And lastly, after we have hot restarted our application, we should here see within the console our JSON with the address object. And also if we call again later this from JSON method, then we get also again back the address object. And one important advice, if you face any issues with this generation, then make always sure that you save the file, your model classes that you have changed before you call then this command. So save your files and then run this command again and then everything should normally work fine. And by the way, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.